Today I got a video I'm excited about, you should be excited about, but I'm going to unbox three $50 mystery boxes from the company Chalice Collectibles. So I'm excited about this. Let's do this. I actually have two very large boxes from Chalice Collectibles. From their past two times they've sold mystery boxes. Each time you can buy a limit of three. Uh, one of these was from like January 28th, I think. Before I started video I checked uh, invoices online and I think one of these shipped like the 28th of January. Then the other one shipped like February 11th or 12th. So they're about two weeks apart, and um, I've I've done Chow's Collectibles mystery boxes one time before. You saw us on this channel maybe a couple weeks ago. It was this one fifty dollar mystery box, and I did very very well with that box. I got like three times my money back. It was incredible. So uh, I bought two more three packs of mystery boxes. So uh, I don't know. We're going to do one box in this video, and then the second box in another video, probably later this week maybe or so. Each time though that Chalice Collectibles does their mystery boxes, each time there's always different kind of grails that you can get out. Um, I couldn't tell you what they actually are. I didn't check. My first box though, I bought just one of. I pulled out the Complex Con exclusive. Incredible pull. So. I have pretty high hopes for these two boxes. Hopefully they're just as good as the first one that I bought. And here we go. You can see down into it. They just come kind of pre-packed in the Funko, uh, like the six pack shipping boxes. Pull out this one and this one and this one. So with Chalice, none of their boxes uh, come like, you know, factory sealed because they reuse old Funko shipping boxes whenever they do their mystery boxes. So if anybody um, gets a Chalice mystery box and they don't come like sealed, it's not a big deal because they just reuse old boxes. And then, you know, they pack them and then they just randomly send them out to customers. So, it's all a matter of luck. So here we go. Let's do, so we got these three cases, the original ones. It was a Dragon Ball, an Overwatch, and an Ant-Man. Let's do Ant-Man first. Oh, and actually, these Ant-Mans are upside down, so we can't even see what they are. I guess that's good, right? So we'll just go through one at a time at the very end of the video. I'll look at prices and see how well we did. So all three of these, I spent 150 bucks. Each box is guaranteed two exclusives or rares, chases, vaulted. And honestly, I have never seen anybody get a bad chalice mystery box yet. Everybody always gets more than what they, what they paid for. So first one, Overwatch. Zen Yatta. Just a common, I guess. Not too familiar. Of uh, this first box, there is two that are in the Chalice Soft Protectors, the 0 0.5 Protectors, which Chalice 0 0.5 or 0 0.50 Protectors are pretty much my favorite protectors to use. Whenever I sell Funko Pops, I always put them in those because they're just like the freaking best soft protectors on the market, in my opinion. So Spider-Man, I'm guessing that's just a common, right? We'll find out. Then number three, oh, it's looking at me. Now looking at you. We got Voltron, Lance. I'm guessing that's just a common. And last one. Crimes of Grindelwald, Newt Scamander. And there we go. So there's the first four out of this box. Those are all just common figures. So these two and the next two soft protectors will be the rare 
exclusive, vaulted, whatever they are. I don't know which one's going to be better. I'm just going to pick one. We'll see, we'll see what it is. One, two, three. Doctor Strange. I've actually received this one before out of a Chrono Toys mystery box last like December. I think I got a couple of them actually. But yeah, it's a really cool looking pop, but it's not very valuable. I think it barely goes for like $15, $12, 15 bucks, I think. Cool pop though. So obviously the second one though, in the Saw Protector is going to be the better of the two hits. And one, two, three. My Hero Academia, to or Todoroki, and we got that. Yeah, I've, uh, I think out of all my mystery boxes so far that I've opened up from several companies, I think this is my third Todoroki, I think, between all different companies too. So, it's still worth like 50 bucks, I think, though. So, that first box, it wasn't bad. So, second box. We've got Zenyatta and Gyron. Let's do the Gyron, since we just got out of Todoroki. Will I get another of the Gyron out? Okay, these are facing up. So I don't want to see the top of the boxes. Try to keep the mystery factor. Let's see, there should be, once again, there should be two in soft cases. There's a soft case. There's, okay, so there's the two soft cases. Pull out the first one non-soft case we got the shape of water Eliza Elisa with broom never seen the movie there's the first one second we've got Fortnite Ragnarok just another common figure really cool looking figure though like extremely cool but just a common Fourth one. Ooh, Venomized Hulk. Not worth much, but it is a really cool pop though. But it's not worth a whole lot. So that is the fourth figure. So the last two in this box will be the two in soft protectors. The ones with value. I don't know which one's more valuable. We'll just go with this this one. I'm trying to find the back of the soft protector case. There's the back. Okay, you ready? One, two, three. Laura Moon, Chase, American Gods. I've never watched American Gods. But there's the Chase figure of Laura Moon. Uh, that's probably good, like 20 bucks or so, I bet. Maybe in that range. And so this other one might be around 30, 40, 50 bucks. Oh, wait a minute. There's an, I totally missed one in this box. There's, there's another non-soft protector common. <laughs> totally missed that. It was underneath of the flap. Boom. My Hero Academia. Katsuki. Just a common. There's all the common figures. Now here's the last one that is in the soft protector that will have some value to it. Let me find the back of the soft protector. Okay, here we go. You ready? One. Two, three. My Hero Academia. Oh, that's a ooh, that's actually a really good one. Oh, I'm probably gonna butcher this name, but Ochako Mask version. This one's actually kind of like a, a grail to a lot of people. This is the 2017 San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Woo, that's actually a really good one. That one's got some freaking value to it. Look at that bad boy right there. This looks like the masked. Or the Ochako must have been, obviously it was one of the grails that you can get out. But what's kind of nice about Chalice though, is uh, from what they've said on Instagram, if like this is one of the grails, like they might have like four or five of them. So that's freaking awesome. Boom. That's a good one. That's a good one. So we got one box left still. And I'm already doing really well. This is Chalice Mystery Boxes. I've uh, The first video I ever did, I, I did one box. This video, I've done two so far. The first three boxes I've done for this company have been freaking fantastic. Here is the third and final box from this round. 
Okay, soft protector, soft. Usually they, they put the soft ones in like different corners. And here we go, first one. Back of it says Mickey, plain crazy. Okay, that was like, that's a, a very, very boring figure. But next, am I feeling more than two in soft protectors or, or am I just going crazy? I think I'm just going crazy. You ready? One, two, three. Overwatch. Sombra. Just a common figure. Then we've got two commons left, right? Yeah. Is this? Okay. That, um, okay. Sometimes it's it's hard to tell. Sometimes which ones is in the soft protector, just because you start feeling like the slickness of the top of it. It's, it's kind of it just tricks you. You ready? Oh, one, two, three. The Jetsons. Elroy Jetson. Yeah. Cool one. Okay. But we're not here for commons though. We're here for the more expensive chase ones, the rare ones, the vaulted ones, the grails. The last common. One, two, three. Fortnite Havoc. I think that's like what the third or fourth Fortnite I've gotten out of these three boxes. That's a lot of Fortnite. There we go. Okay. So these last two will be the rare ones. I'll just pull out one of them. Okay, that's the back of it. You ready? Oh, one, two, three. Steppenwolf, Justice League, Legion of Collectors. That's a very cool pop. Never seen this one in person, but it's extremely detailed. I don't think it's very valuable though, but it's cool. So I know that one is pretty low valued. So this one has to be probably worth if everything goes as like how the other boxes have this one has to be worth like probably 30 40 50 bucks i bet you ready oh one two three and we got this uh hold on let me make sure i say this right sauce k i was corrected probably about 87 times this is sauce k sauce k curse mark so that's cool so i think this is also like my third or fourth one i've gotten of sauce k i've gotten a bunch of them from different companies i think three different companies i've gotten yeah these two like i think three times now so let's see values on these things i'm gonna be using pop price guide to look up prices on these because that is the more reliable guide now we got steppenwolf pop price guide has got it at 12 bucks so you know Pretty low range figure. In the next one, we've got Sasuke. The value of his have actually dropped a little bit. He's down to $49 on Pop Price Guide. It was like 55 or 60, but um, you Funko has been selling these in certain like conventions, I think out in California or somewhere. And uh, so the value has taken a little bit of a hit, but not too much. It's still pretty much a $50 pop. And then we got the Todoroki Glow in the Dark. It is still listed at Pop Price Guide for $55. So this one, I think, is around the same price as it has been since it first came out. Then we got the Doctor Strange, the Collector Core Exclusive. It is only worth $10. It's actually worth less than what it was the last time I got it out of a mystery box. <laughs> Gone down in value. Here's the Laura Moon, the Chase, and it's worth around $17 on Pop Price Guide. And now for the big hit, we got the Ochako Mast. 2017 San Diego Comic Con exclusive. It's listed at $125 on Pop Price Guide. That is a fantastic hit. I actually went ahead, I searched eBay sold listings, and this actually sells for upwards of like $150, depending on condition. So this, honestly, from eBay sold listings, a mint condition one can go for about 150 And this one looks, I mean, immaculate. It looks perfect. So I'm going to throw the value of this thing at 150 just because eBay sold is telling me it's actually 150 So after just those six, just looking up those, like the main big hits out of these three boxes, I'm already at $293 of value back. That's almost double of what I paid. 
And that doesn't even include all these commons yet. You know, we've got three, six, nine, then 12 common figures. Each one of those commons, I could even say conservatively, value-wise, just say eight bucks a piece. A little bit below, you know, retail, like eight dollars. Realistic prices. So there's a total of 12 of these, eight bucks a piece. That makes it like $96. So round it up to like a hundred bucks. So you can actually say that these three mystery boxes, if I average these things out, the commons to about like eight bucks a piece, like eight, eight and a quarter a piece, my three boxes were $393. So pretty much I paid $150 for three mystery boxes, got back 400 back. That is crazy. So <laughs> as of right now, I'm a pretty big fan of Chalice collectibles and their mystery boxes. I've got three more to open up later this coming week, maybe even tomorrow, we'll see. But yeah, this these mystery boxes that I've seen other people open up, I've done, these have been amazing mystery boxes. You're going to get more back than what you paid, almost guaranteed. I got, you know, a little less than like three times my money back. How crazy is that? Anyway, let me know below, what was your favorite one out of this video? They're all my favorite. Every single one. They're all my favorite. This was fantastic. So, I will see you again very, very soon for the remaining three mystery boxes from Chow's Collectibles. Punkle Bad Guy, out.